She was five pounds, 14, 14 ounces. ounces. She was only probably about like that big. Yeah, right? she was. And she was, you know, tiny, skinny, skinny. Yeah, she yeah. was really tiny. Like we were scared to hold her because she was so tiny, you know? Right. It was a really smooth pregnancy. Everything was, was. fine, was like really... up until I was in bed at night, had really bad heartburn, which I never get. My water broke, and by the time we got here, it was, you know, active labor from that point. I got a phone call from labor and delivery that they were going to be doing a stat section for a 34-weeker. That means it's going to happen very quickly. The care team was there. They walked us along the way. I've never felt worried or scared. I, we trusted them 100%. Always, always you introduce yourself to the family member, and that's when I met Barbara first. Teresa came in, it was like she made us feel comfortable. She made us feel like family. As soon as I heard her cry, I knew we were okay. You know, we knew she would be in the NICU because she was coming so early. Harper needed some respiratory support with her breathing. Babies that are premature, their lungs are a little underdeveloped, premature. It was a little scary at first because she was so tiny in the incubator. It's scary to hold a baby with wires and beeping right. and it was an absolutely terrifying experience. And we're so thankful that the staff that works here kept us calm. I have to take care of the whole family. So it's the tissue, it's the hug, it's here's the phone number, call any time when you're home to find out about your baby, come any time. Um, it's okay to cry. It's, we're here for you. That is my job. Love taking care of babies. I love seeing a baby go home, like when Harper went home. Doing the discharge and seeing the parents, new parents become confident parents and seeing them leave with a smile. Harper yeah. has a little something to say. <laughs> yeah. Harper loves Teresa too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I tell this our story because it's a story of us. October 1st, 2018, our world was about to change and you can only hope for the better. We were a month early, labor began, and, we, and before we knew it, Harper J joined our family in just a few short hours on October 2nd. From the moment we entered labor and delivery right up until our daughter was released, the love and care that was shown not only to our daughter, but both my wife and myself by all of St. Clair's staff was immeasurable. Our baby girl was placed in the NICU and that is when our angel in waiting stepped forward. One NICU nurse, Teresa Stanton, stands out and made a difference in our lives. We will always be thankful and grateful for this simple act of kindness we were shown. The love she showed us, recognizing us as new parents to a baby who needed special care. Teresa was more than a nurse. She made us feel loved. I cannot imagine my wife and I going through this experience without having met her. Teresa has forever etched my heart with her love. Yeah, I believe you definitely have a true calling for this. And just knowing that I made a difference. <laughs>